the username and password is Danfoss. This PC automatically starts up the browser with the ECL portal and it also automatically starts up the ECL stimulator software because I have added links in the start menu with the ECL portal browser and a shortcut to the ECL stimulator called Modbus Lock Tool shortcut. Everything you place in the start folder here will automatically start up and be executed when the PC boots. Now you can log in to the ECL portal. using the on-screen keyboard. Use the demo login. E C L demo at G mail dot com and the password is E C L demo eleven. It might show an alarm or whatever people have used here, but we have in the exhibition group we have one ECL controller. which is the ECL controller located here at the installation. You may use the touch screen to use all the functionality of the ECL portal. Like you can show graphs change settings, set alarms and so on. And you can also browse the ECL controllers connected to the Danfoss District Energy Group, which have also ECL stimulators connected. So for this one example, you can show the lock now it retrieves the data from the ECL controller And because we have the ECL stimulator connected, what we see here is data from an actual, or uh, based on a, an actual installation in Denmark. But the data is actually just uh, replayed uh, and sent to the ECL controller. So it acts just like it was connected to a real station. You can change settings of uh, the controller if you want to. If you want to change uh, some of the 
temperature references or, or other settings, you can do it in the settings menu. But you must observe a, a little uh, drawback of using a touch screen because if you use this menu which have two levels then you will see that it disappears after a second or so so you actually have to be quite quick if you want to access uh, these submenus but then you can make any change that you want to the demo installation the ECL stimulator needs to run in the background of the same PC and it is connected to the IP address shown here in the top which must have the same IP address as the ECL controller that is used at the exhibition. You can change those settings by using this button, but for this installation everything has been pre-configured and should be able to run uh, without making any changes. So you should be able to leave this ECL stimulator software uh, on its own and, and without making any modifications. So focus on the ECL uh, portal at the exhibition.